I'll be showing an end-to-end -end tutorial of the Microsoft 365 Copilot. There's been a major revamp recently replacing Office.com, and I'll be covering Copilot chat, search, AI creation and design, agents, plus the big announcement that Copilot chat is now coming directly into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and the other apps at no extra cost. So this video applies to any M365 subscriber. So let's get started. The first step is go to Microsoft365.com. This used to be office.com, it's the same thing. And we're just gonna sign in. This is like signing into the old office.com. And you're greeted with the M365 Copilot app. This is the redesigned office.com is how you can think about it. You land on our chat page here. On the left-hand rail, you're gonna see search, agents, conversations, pages, create, and apps. And I'm gonna go through all this stuff in detail to show you just how it works. In the upper right, you've got some of the options about chats and trying GPT-5. If you want to collapse the pane, now you've just got a pure Copilot chat experience, and I'll expand it. Now, some of you might be asking, hey, where did all of my apps go? Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. I'll first just show right here is apps. All of your apps live right here. Now, if I want to pin some of them, they're going to show up on the left here. So, for example, I want to pin Outlook. I want to pin Teams. We'll pin Excel. And if I want to say, hey, where's OneNote? I'm going to go into all apps. Got all the apps right here, ClipChamp, Calendar, Forms, Lists, and there's my favorite friend OneNote. We're gonna pin that as well. So it's really easy to have all your apps. If you wanna go down here, you can find even more, and there's different categories, utilities, education, etc. So lots of fun to explore in the apps. Now also, if you go to Install Apps, this is where you download all your Microsoft 365 desktop apps. You also have a Copilot desktop app. And I'm gonna download this one and show what it looks like briefly. So there's a whole Copilot app that looks just like this one here. So here's my Windows taskbar and I've actually downloaded it and I've pinned this as a Windows app. When I click it, you're gonna see it looks very similar. So this is just the Windows version. If you wanna have it pinned and always accessible right in your taskbar, you can right click and pin that right there. But I'll just go back to the web app now. Lastly, I can download the Copilot mobile app. So right here, if I click this, I've got a QR code. I can easily get that for both iOS and Android. And we'll just close this. Now let's go back into chat. So this is our Copilot chat experience. And this is similar to things like ChatGPT, but this is the M365 work version of that chatbot. It's powered by OpenAI's leading technology. And I'll show just in a second how you can even turn on GPT-5. But one of the nice things about Copilot chat, in the upper right, you're gonna see this little shield, and that is enterprise data protection. That means all the prompting, all the information that goes on here is not trained on the big models out there. This is safe and secure and compliant. We don't train on your data. We don't train on your information. Now I can even say try GPT-5. This is the latest OpenAI model. GPT-5 is the supercharged large language model. And Copilot Chat really just is a large language model that we're integrating right into all your M365 experience. There's a bunch of starter prompts right here that it's got. I can even see more. So if you're wondering what are the types of things I can do with Copilot Chat, lots of great options here. I'll see less. Well, here's an example. Help me prepare for a review. And I click this. Now there's a forward slash. So start typing to search. Here's a bunch of different documents that I already have. And if I didn't see it in this list, I could start typing. It's going to search. Oh, that's the one I'm looking for. DG 2000 product overview. So it adds that word document. And here's a nice little prompt. Help me prepare. I'll just hit go. Our copilot kicks into gear. Great structured response, potential concerns from business leaders. A lot of great information right here. So that was pretty nice. Now I have sources. So this is the source that it got from. So it's always gonna source what it just talked about. Create a polished summary document so it gives me some other suggestions. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new chat and click this. This time I'm gonna expand and I'm gonna say list key points from a file, okay? And again, it gives me a forward slash right here and you can always type forward slash to search for a document. Lots of more recent documents I'm gonna say from the Ad Goals QT series, list the key points. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna have a little fun here. Pretend that Bill Lumberg from Office Space is writing up this list. So I'm gonna formulate a little differently. Okay, it's gonna write it up in the style of Bill Lumberg and corporate flair, a little uh, pun there for those of you that like Office Space. Mm, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep writing the success of the QT series. Brand loyalty is kind of a big deal. 
So it's made this a little more fun. It says, hey, do you want me to turn this into a memo or an email in a TPS format? Yes, add a TPS report section. I click that, it adds it here. All right. So you get the idea. It's really easy to reference your office documents just by adding a forward slash like that. And if you want to upload a file, maybe the file's not in the list, it's not on OneDrive, I can just click upload from this device and upload something directly in there. We also handle images in Copilot chat. So I'm gonna go up here, start a new chat. Please create a cartoon style image of Bill Lumberg holding a TPS report and a red stapler. Hey, check that out. I'm really liking that Bill Lumberg. Now I'll just click on this to open in a bigger view. Hey, there he is, TPS report, red stapler. I can download this, add to pages. I'll show that in a bit, copy it. You can even give it a thumbs up or down. So I like this. Hey, that's great. Send a little feedback to the system. If you like stuff or you don't like stuff, you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. And we'll go new chat again. Now, if I wanna add something directly from Plus, I can upload images, I can attach cloud files, I can add my work content, kinda of like we referenced before. This pulls it up just like the slash. And the last thing I'll show in the basic chat operations is our prompt library. If you want a full prompt library, you can view prompts here, and I've got all sorts of different prompts. So these can give you ideas on how to use chat and all of your work data to be more efficient. And you can save prompts as well. So this is our prompt gallery and our prompt library. And we'll close this. All of my conversations are stored on the left right here. And if I wanna go back to a different conversation, I just click and it'll switch to it. I can also rename these chats or I can delete these chats. So maybe I wanna delete this one right here and hit delete. Another new feature is that Copilot now has memory. So in this case, I'm gonna say, I work at Inatech as the assistant to the regional manager. I focus on TPS reports. This is my job. So I'm gonna say, please add to memory. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna add this to Copilot's memory. Okay, got it, I've saved that info. And note there's a little memory updated here. And if I hover, it shows Alex Wilbur works at Inatech as the assistant to the regional manager. I can even manage my memories. So right here, these are different memories that it's gonna add so it can remember things about me. So I can close this. If you wanna to get to this normally, you can go up here and choose settings and you can see custom instructions and Copilot memory. So custom instructions is provide Copilot with details on how you operate. So I'm gonna go here and it says include details about your interests, preferences, goals, or any other things. So we can put that in here. I'm really interested in TPS reports, red staplers, and making my boss happy. Please respond in the style of Bill Lumberg for all answers and throw in some office space references. And we'll save this and go back. And I'm gonna add one more thing to memory. We'll close this. My birthday is November 5th, please add to memory. There we go, so memory has been updated. The last thing I'll show with Copilot Chat is the big announcement that it's come to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. This is gonna be built into all the apps no matter what subscription you have. That means anyone who has M365 in commercial or education. Let's see how that works. Okay, I'm here in Word and I have a document. On the Home tab, you're gonna see this Copilot icon. If you don't see it yet, it's still available to insiders so it might take a bit to roll out. But I'll click here and this is that same Copilot chat you saw before. Got the enterprise data protection. I have the hamburger menu that'll actually show me all my chats and other information like I had before. Now I'm gonna do a quick thing, which is please remember that I like things concise and update memory. And it says memory updated, just like we saw in the other chat. And it's still using that Bill Lumberg, okay. All my sources are there and it has some suggestions. Now I wanna ask it to give an executive summary of this document. Now with the Copilot chat that's available to everyone, it can see the document, but it can't go back and forth and insert things automatically. That takes the more advanced $30 subscription, but this is the one available to everyone, so I'll hit go. Okay, there's that executive summary. And at the bottom, I can just say add to doc or copy. So I'm just gonna say copy. We'll go right here and paste. And there's my executive summary. Let's go over to Excel. Okay, I'm in Excel home tab. I already have the Copilot chat open. There's the button right there. I'm just gonna paste, can you generate three useful charts for me? Don't need to tell it anything else. It can see the Excel sheet. All right, there are some charts, department distribution, approval requirements by department, card type usage. Hey, those are all pretty interesting. In this case, I'll just copy, we'll go onto Excel, and there, there's my card type usage. Let's go over to PowerPoint. I'm here in PowerPoint and I have a deck all about the office space, but I have a slide here about Bill Lumberg's management style and I need to have a nice image for him. So let's just ask PowerPoint to do that. 
A fun image of Bill Lumberg holding a TPS report and his coffee cup. Hey, there's Bill Lumberg. He's got his TPS report and his coffee cup. Now I'm just going to go here and drag it onto my screen. Looking good. I could design it up and have lots of fun, but it's very easy to do things like that. I could even say generate speaker notes for this slide. So I've got a bunch of speaker notes here. I can just copy those and add them right into speaker notes below. Copilot Chat is also available in the new Outlook as well as OneNote, but I'm not going to show those today. We'll switch back to the main M365 Copilot app. Now let's go check out Search. This is just like the search from office.com in the past, but now it's supercharged with AI. So here's a bunch of great files and documents that I've been working on. What's nice here is these are little suggested prompts next to any of these. So for example, if I say list action items out of this branding elements PowerPoint, Copilot Chat pops that in right there. It analyzes the document and now it gives me my Bill Lumberg response, which is kind of funny because I put that into my instructions. And here are the action items right here in a nice list that came directly out of this branding elements PowerPoint deck that I didn't even have to open. Now let's say I want to track these. I've got a little option right here. Drop this down, add to recent page. So pages, which are over here on the left, these are basically loop pages. They're copilot pages, but they're loop behind the scenes. I'm going to add this list to one of my recent pages. So I've got my brainstorming page here and now it opens up this page and it pops everything right there. So these are actual loop tasks. So I can go through and check these off when they're done. So super handy. Copilot chat is over here on the left. And then at the top, if I want to say open this in Word, I can do that. I can share this page with someone else. So since it's loop, I can share the page link or copy the component. This can be embedded anywhere. It can be in Word and OneNote and Outlook and Teams. Or I can just say share this whole page with another person. Okay, so the link is copied and I can mail this to someone. Now when I close this page, Copilot Chat's going to pop back into place. And now over here on Pages, you can see I've got my brainstorming page and I have a different page here. And if I want to see all pages, I could go there. So back in search, I can search for a file. We'll search for marketing. I see marketing to your audience and it opens up that document really fast. Let's go to the create module. Create allows you to use AI to create all sorts of images and designs. It's based on the designer technology, but it's pulled right in here to create. So I could create an image, make an infographic poster. We even got forms creation. And if you click more, there's a bunch of options right here. So you can explore some images and what you might want to create. So in this case, we're going to go simple. I'm going to do a product in a scene. Place the product from the reference image into A, and instead of a grassy meadow, we're going to change this to Alpine Meadow Scene with Snow and a Vista in the background. And there's some other options here. We're just going to go click Create. Okay, it's added some snow into this meadow. There's snow here. I could say Transform with AI. Maybe I say Add More Snow. Maybe I make it cloudy. I have different style options. If I want to edit right here, it has some background removals, object transformation, a ton of things that are in the designer app that we have. Cropping and rotating, adjustments, and all these other options. There's some more AI suggestions that can be made. You could add text on top. You can mark it up. There's even layers. And then you can download that image. But for me, I'm just going to go right now and hit back to the main create area. And there are some filters on all these different suggestions right here. Teamwork, celebrations. Maybe I want to design an infographic. And I'm just going to hit describe right here. Create an infographic showing the TPS report to stapler ratio in the office space. And for the palette, we're going to use this one right here and click create. Okay, here it is. It's my TPS report to stapler ratio. I can edit this infographic. I can do all the things that I showed before over on the right hand side. But for now, we're just going to go back to the main create module homepage. There's so much more to explore in the create module. I just gave you a quick tour, designing posters, creating stories, creating forms, quizzes, all sorts of stuff. You can even launch basic templates for all the different Word, Excel, PowerPoints, etc. But that should give you a good start. Now we'll flip over to agents. Now I'm here in the Windows version of the M365 Copilot app just to mix it up a bit. And I've got agents over here on the left. I'll expand this and you can explore agents or create agents. Let's go to explore agents first. Now what are agents? They're powered to really help you focus on specific tasks right here. Complete complex tasks. So you can see researcher, analyst, idea coach, learning coach, surveys, and there are lots more you can explore. Some of these you need the Microsoft 365 license, the $30 a month license. 
That's things like researcher and analyst to go very deep. But I'm going to create my own agent that's grounded against the web. So looking at web data doesn't cost any extra license. And we're going to go here and click create agent. This launches Copilot Studio. You have some templates you can create right here, but we're going to create our own agents. And you can start by describing what you want your agent to do. We'll go down here. Please create an agent to help me answer questions about Microsoft Education. I work on the Microsoft Education product team and I get a lot of questions. So I hit go and it's going to go and create some defaults for me to start out with. Okay, it's set up. Let's choose a name. I suggest the name Microsoft Education Assistant. Would you like to use this name? I actually want to call it Ask Mike About EDU and we'll hit go. Now over on the right, it updated it right here and all these default prompts got suggested by Copilot, which is kind of nice. And you can test this out as we'll do in a second. Now we'll refine what it does. Well, I actually want to go in and configure it myself. So I'm going to go up here and say configure. So there's the name. I've got details I can go in here. I can upload an icon. I can set the accent color, etc. There's also the description. So answer in a clear and professional manner. Maybe I want to change it to that sounds like Dwight Schrute from the office. Here are the instructions that were defaulted by my prompt. It says always communicate in English. Maybe I change this to a different language like Spanish or Norwegian. I can customize those instructions. Also knowledge. So I can enter public website URLs that really enhance that agent. And I'm going to add a couple URLs here. Here's information about the Learn Center for Educators. We'll add that as a URL. And I'll also add the main Microsoft Education site. Now both of these websites are right here. And I'm going to say prioritize the knowledge sources that I added when my agent answers. So that's switched on. If you want to allow image generation, I can turn that on. And here are all the suggested prompts. So product details, general info, etc. And those show up here. Maybe I say, tell me about learning accelerators. And it updates it right here. And I can reorder these and how I want them to go. So maybe I want to change this. And it updates it immediately here. And I could add more prompts or I could remove prompts. But we'll just leave it like that. You can even test it out before you publish it. So tell me about learning accelerators. Let's hit go. Ask Mike about EDU. My agent is processing. Great. A bunch of good information about learning accelerators. You can see these are sourced and it comes from the Microsoft Education site. Okay, this looks pretty good. This is my agent asking Mike about EDU. I think this is ready to go. Let's click create. Okay, my agent was successfully created. This link only works for me if I want to share this link. I can change the sharing settings. So maybe I want to make this available to other people in my org, send them a link to my Ask Mike about EDU agent, publish it internally. So hopefully that gets you started on the basics of how agents work. I'm not going to be going deeper into them. I'm going to have a separate video on that in the future. So watch for that. Wrapping up, I hope that gives you a nice tour of the full M365 Copilot. This is all the latest and greatest. And again, this is available to all commercial, education, and consumer subscribers. You don't need to have the extra upsell. Also, watch this channel. I'm going to be putting out a lot more Copilot videos in the future. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.